Okay, boom, viewers, subscribers, welcome back to the channel. You don't know the thing set. Bless. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. You see me, I say, I am mean, now I gotta lie to you. <laughs> Blueface mother does rub out um, Christian rock as usual. You see me, I say, but this time for being disrespectful to our mother and things and things, as you can see. She was kicking away the lady arms and feet and all of this stuff. Not trying to make her touch her belly, you see me, I say, even though they're using them for views for Zeus. You see me, I say, and the mother is upset about that. And you don't know the thing said with Jaden and all of this stuff. And, and I mean, how everybody should have the, have the you know, the, the people, them, you know, belly thing. And I mean, but the belly thing look like, say, a fake thing because it dates them not adding up. And the people, let me say, in the clinic look fake. You feel me? But anyway, let's take a listen to this roasting and then we'll proceed. That was very, very intense. That was very fucking intense. That's all I got to say is we black women are so angry. We're so angry about these shitty ass underarm pits and these men running off and leaving us and not helping us that we would get online and call another person a bitch and say they want to sleep with their own son. That's how mad we is. That's that. That's that. I'm telling you, I know what that is. Every woman I've encountered that talk like that to another woman got shitty ass, dirty ass underarm pits. And they ain't going to show them to you. Because that shit is like, your life was fucked up to the point where you couldn't even scrub your own underarm pits. And you mad at the world about it. I didn't say her kid's grandma was dead. Is that what you heard? I said she don't qualify because she don't have to deal with with nobody else's um her no grandparents in her child's life helping her make decisions so that her kids under armpits don't be shitty she didn't qualify for this conversation this is not something she's familiar with that's what i said no ma'am i don't play with the dead i said she don't qualify she she didn't qualify because she didn't want to give her own mama the respect of being the grandma she wanted to reduce her mama to a nana or a nana because she probably don't deal with the kids we know when we when you got them grandmas, no, that's grandma. Jaden might can't stand me. She might be calling me bitches, but she gonna, what she going to call me is her kids next runner up behind her mama or, her, or the grandmama. I'm their mama. <laughs> I'm the kid's mama. I'm going to pull up to the schoolhouse. I'm going to pull up and if we got a problem, I'm going to pull up beside her. Them my kids. She couldn't even speak about that about her own mama. She didn't feel that way about her. She didn't feel like her, her kids had a, a grandmama i don't know what the fuck she she ain't mexican i don't know where they get this nana from but then was her her mama grandbabies and she tried to reduce the level of responsibility off her mama like her mama wasn't involved in their life no she did not qualify for the conversation <laughs> i said do your mama is them your mama kids she said that's their nana what the hell is the difference Yes, if you prefer Nana, that's fine, but that's still their grandma, okay? We in America. We, I mean, was that a level down or a level up? I didn't I don't know what that was. You're a full-time grandma. I am a full-time grandma. I'm I'm on my way to do my pickups now. Like I got to do my pickups, my drop-offs, I got to feed them, I got to give them a bath, I got to do their hair. I got to be a mama. Okay, I, I don't know. They, they, they mamas is probably doing how my mama did. Yeah, I watch them, but I don't really feel like it. No, I'm excited. I, I'm trying to figure out my, my plan, my routine. I'm trying to put in my time. Like, I had two awesome grandmothers to come behind. I got serious shoes to fill as a nana, a grandma. I, how dare you read that? Ain't they mama? No, I'm big mama. I'm them kids' mama, too. If you a grandma, baby, you a mama. Okay, when them kids wake up and they hungry and they looking at you and they ready to do something, make moves when they want to run track and they mama don't want to put them in it. You got to step up. You got to be the, the village. You can't. And then you and then she was willing to reduce the name of the grandma to the that ain't they mama. It's still they mama, girl. If you die or don't disappear, your mama got to step up and be their mama. 
If this girl run off and leave my son with this child, where the hell you think he going to take the child to, Jaden? If Rock decide tomorrow after she had his baby that she don't want to deal with him or deal with them, where where you think he going to bring the baby to? Her mama? Where is my child going to bring this baby if she run off and leave this baby on the doorstep with him? I got to pull up and be the mama, right? Oh, y'all don't know about that. Because y'all baby daddies. Mama, don't talk to y'all, won't take the call or none of that. I don't care if this girl don't like me at all. If she call me and tell me to pull up to the gas station to get this baby, even if she going to whoop my ass, I'm going to pull up to the gas station to get mine. Okay? That baby will not be there thinking don't nobody want him, not nan dad of its life. Okay? So I don't know what y'all kind of grandmas y'all got. I don't feel like being bothered today. I know y'all got them kind of grandmas. I don't know nothing about that. My son tell me, go, you got to go pick up my baby tomorrow. I don't ask no questions. I'm getting ready to get dressed, get in the car, go drive two and a half hours. Look at his baby mama that don't like me neither. She feels some type of way. I'm going to give her a hug and a kiss and send her on her way. And I'm going to pick up my grandbaby and bring her back to my child. I don't have no choice. I can't say, uh-uh, I don't feel like it today. I don't feel like driving to go get your baby. You need to be respectful to your baby, to your baby daddy's mama, because you need her on that wall, okay? You need her to, to, to whisper Jesus in the ear. You need to make sure you get them baptized. Don't be running off these grandmas talking about boundaries and you in my business. That's the one nigga that's going to take care of your kid if you drop off this earth or run off and leave it. Don't do that. Don't be disrespectful to his mama because she all up in your business. You bite your tongue for your child's sake. Okay? You take it on the chin. That's your child's grandmama. No, no, ain't no respect both ways. Your elderly get a different type of respect. When my husband's mama told me how she felt about me and told my husband whatever glitter ain't gold, and whatever she had to say, rest my mother-in-law's soul, I had to take that shit on the chin. That's how she feel. All I could do is prove her wrong. All I could do is show her that I'm going to love her son to the end of the world. All I can do is show her that what she think about the last girl, that's not me. I can't cuss his mama out. She don't know me. That bitch don't know me. She, a, I, Your mama ain't shit. How your mama know me? She don't like, oh, your mama this, your mama that. I can't do that. I have to respect her regardless. She earned respect by being his mother. She earned respect by raising my husband. She earned respect by making it to 70, 80 years old. That is the respect. I'm trying to get where she at. I'm trying to make it to 80 something, okay? I can't sit here and say that I, I, I gotta, she got to respect me. This her son I'm dealing with. I have to prove myself. I have to prove myself to this woman. This is her pride and her joy, okay? I have to get in here and prove myself that I'm not going to just run off with her son's money or mistreat her son or, or be here, you know, to be a baby mama and trap him. No, I have to respect her regardless of how she feel about me. You don't go to your job and be like, they going to respect me. No, you're going to do what the fuck they tell you to get your paycheck, right? You ain't going to go in your new job demanding respect. No, you pull up humble. You clock in humble. You be on time humble. When you dealing with somebody's child and you want to be in their life, that's how you pull up to their family. Okay? You don't pull up like you just, you going to respect me too. No, that's not how this works. If big mama say, get in here and help me wash these dishes and clean up this house, you don't say, uh-uh, I ain't got that to do. You don't do that. You get your, you put your gloves on. Your nails going to get wet. You got to, that's one time you got to take it on the chin. That's big mama. You got to respect her. If she wants you to clean up, all I told that girl to do was clean up. Okay? Clean up this house and clean up after yourself. Don't leave your dirty drawers on the counter where I eat. And that was too much. I'm not about to tell my husband, ah, your mama should have just accepted these dirty drawers on the counter and clean up after us. No. You have to be respectful. 
You don't go in demanding respect from nobody that been put in 20, 30 years on their child. Y'all, if something ain't right with y'all, that's why y'all ain't got no man. That's why y'all ain't gonna have no man. Your mama didn't have no man. You're gonna be sitting there in that wheelchair looking crazy when you my age, watching people go down the street with their man, looking at people in the grocery store like me and my husband, eating the fruit when we ain't paid for it yet, laughing and giggling and shit. You gonna be that woman walking by with that wheelchair looking crazy because you don't wanna listen to the mama. That's why. When you get a man, you got to pull up and you got to be respectful. You can't use that stank face. You can't leave your dirty drawers on the counter. Come on now, y'all. Y'all got to, y'all ain't listening. From this man, mama. She gonna respect me. Hey, Miss Carlisa. Hey, baby. How you doing? I don't mind. You can talk crazy to me at all you want to. Get it all out. Whatever you got to say, good or bad. I just feel some type of way, and I'm going to require that you show me them underarm pits if you start calling me bitches and say I want to fuck with my son. <laughs> but other than that, if you don't like me, I don't care what you say. But when you start talking about I want to sleep with my son, I need the underarm pits or you got to go. No, I'm not going to cross that line. I just got to. <laughs> I'm going to be respectful. So okay. I just want to ask, I just want to ask, um, uh, I, I just feel like you're always, um, taking Jaden's side and I feel like even before Krishan came along, you know, he was that time he put you out the house because of her and that other little bald head girl that they, they was all living in the house together and all this stuff. And that was just so disrespectful then. And then she's just continuously doing things to you, too. That's also disrespectful, but I guess you just don't, you just allow it every time, and I don't understand why. And then just, and then I feel like, don't you, I know that you love your grandson, but don't you think it was such a bad influence having them little lesbian relationships or whatever they was doing in his presence? That was so disrespectful for him. Um, so yeah, so I have always maintained, um, I, I don't, I don't change cause it's Jaden. I don't change cause it's blue. I don't change cause it's Callie. If I see something that's disrespectful, I say it. So if you haven't heard me say something about her, you know, relationships with other women and holding her accountable, I, I know you have, cause I mean, I've said it. I'm, I didn't approve of it for them to be, um, in the house with my grandson. And that's why we got thrown out. So if I'm taking it to the max and I'm, you know, and things are happening, why do y'all feel like I'm not holding them accountable? I could have just went downstairs, me and Callie, and act like it mm -hmm. was normal to be in the house with two women and, you know, my grandson running around. I, we could have just took that on the chin and been like everybody else, mama. Oh, shit, he paying us. He giving us money. We don't care. We ain't, we just going to be quiet. We Did we do that? We got put out about that, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. You did, you did, but yeah, I just feel well, I like mean, you just. So I wasn't staying there. I'm, you know, I was just, I was just there. I happened to be there for the BET Awards, but I, I, there was a we, we definitely we took a loss on that because you know Callie ended up having to go into you know emergency housing and all kinds of stuff. Her brother had had got her down there, and that went all left. But we could have took the route of just respecting him and respecting Jaden and not speaking up, but we didn't do that. We held them accountable all the way until we was outside in the front yard with all our shit, remember? Yeah, you did. You did. I mean, yeah, I know that that's the, the reason, you know, everything y'all got put out and all that. But I just feel like Jaden just doesn't get held accountable and bashed as much as she should. So, like, she's what should always... she get? What, what should she get bashed for? What, what is she doing that I'm missing? Like that little stunt that she pulled last week when she didn't invite you. I think that was so wrong. And sometimes and I, did I not hold her accountable. I got on yeah, live you, and went crazy. You did, you did, you did. I but I, but she's always just I think y'all just be missing it. I mean, she ain't she didn't show up to set today. She's a no show. So I mean I held her accountable to the point where it caused some problems and some friction. I just didn't let it roll under my chin and be like, Oh, oops. I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not here. They say I'm here. Oh, you just doing it for clout. You just getting the money. No, I'm holding everybody accountable. When Callie was dating a married man, I, I, I called the man and I threatened the man. I went off. I ruined, sabotaged the whole relationship. They don't say nothing about that. And I did that online. When she, Ooh, yeah, she called herself <laughs> when she called herself messing. He wasn't married at the time. So thank God she didn't do adultery. 
he was engaged and was like telling her he wasn't sure he wanted to do it. And you know, it was just for the kids, giving her that old, that pussy dick line. And I jumped right in the middle of that. I was gonna have Blue and his friends pull up and, 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 and beat him and do what he had to do. You know, I, 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 I damaged that immediately. I did not allow her to become in rock situation. She could be a baby mama to that man and behind them two kids over there. That could have ruined her. I sabotaged that whole shit online. You don't hear nobody talking about it. But the thing is, um, Jaden and, and Jonathan was never engaged. Like, that man, I, I don't think that man want that girl no more, Miss Carlisa. He don't really want Jaden no more. I think it's just I mean, we've all to. we've all taken into consideration there that there's definitely been some things. But prior to this, was he saying, no, I'm not in no relationship with Prashawn. I'm not with her. I don't want to be with her. Yeah, he was, but that was because I don't think he had already broken up properly with Jade, and I think he was still kind of playing both sides. So I think he was kind of like, at a, it was at a point where, they, you know, I remember when they were saying, oh, I, I'm just her manager and all that. Mm -hmm. And I think that he just wasn't trying to hurt her. I think he should have just been a man and just told her, like, hey, we well, you know, we're done. You know, and then just being single, he knew that. I, I think it just was another way to go about it. But he was definitely, they were definitely sneaking around, which wasn't right either. Right, you don't. You, so, so do you agree that he definitely shouldn't have been? Uh, Krishan shouldn't have entertained that, or her family, or somebody should have stepped in, like I did with Callie and the dude that was trying to string her along and say, "Hey, hey, hey, no," because I told Krishan, I said, "Baby, they got a situation going on over there, and they thick as thieves." Now, Jaden and John could be behind this whole scene pulling these puppet strings. When I tell you them two people right there. I know they thick as thieves together. They done took down some liquor stoves together. Them two right there, you don't never know what's going on with them. Okay? Yeah. So when, but it when turned I out he was being that, thick as thieves with Krishan the whole time. Nah, nah that, that's business. I'm talking about them two is thick as thieves. They could be pulling these strings on all of us right now. We'd never know it. That, when yo, when somebody mama tell you that, you supposed to say, oh, it's okay. True. You, you right, know what I'm saying? I'm his mama. I know. Yeah. I bought her her first promise ring. I've been I in that situation when a, when a man mama told me and I got the hell on. And <laughs> there you go. Because she know. And I'm not saying you she couldn't win him over. I'm just saying you got to gently, in order to take somebody's man, if that's who you are and that's what you want to do, I get that. If you love that man that much that you said, fuck it, I'm going to take him, you got to gently go into that situation. You can't just bombard it. Now the kids can't come over with you. You can't be the stepmama. You know, you know, it's just too much damage. You got to go in there respectfully. When you want to take a man from another woman, you have to also show that woman that you are responsible enough to help be with him for his kids' sake. I'm not going to let m none of my baby daddies take my kids into no situation like that. That's true, because now you're creating a, a shift with the kids. Now you can't even be around the kids. Now you can't even be around the kids. So how are you going to be with the man if his kids can't go hiking with y'all or go to the beach with y'all or just have a regular day? Yeah. That's yeah, stress yeah. on somebody else's kids. Now you're going to put that stress on your own kid? Yeah. You but I so, think I so, think I think Chris Sean already had a bad taste in her mouth towards Jaden. Like I feel like at first she was being sneaky, but I think after that girl lost a tooth, she was like, "Oh, it's on now. Now I'm really yeah. gonna turn up on you." Now, but I'm that's really gonna... why God that's say it really turned spiteful. That's why God say vengeance belongs to Him because you will get in that thing trying to be vengeful and turn around and look like an ass. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I don't even think I don't even think Jaden was ever even gonna truly let anybody be around him, be around her kids no. anyway. None of those. Oh women. no, no, she wishes like hell he had got a doctor or a lawyer so she could drop them damn kids off and get a break sometime. She wishes he, Krishan was responsible enough to drop them kids off right now. She, wouldn't you, wouldn't you want to drop your kids off here? Y'all take them for a week. Yeah, yeah I mean, break. that's He's true. Not that kind of person. Well, you, you know her better than I do, so I can't speak on that. Oh, yeah, I'm just speaking love, off of what I see She would love, online. love, love to drop them kids off and let them go have a week with them so she can go and find her whatever it is she want to do, whether it's man, woman, or whatever she want to do. You can't do that. Now she got forced to be a mom 100% of the time because he didn't go out and get somebody responsible enough to take the kids on his turn. Yeah, and that's his fault. He, he picked her. There you go. 
So we're going to hold them accountable. And don't never think that I, I'm telling you, when they when I talk to them, it's, it's probably too disrespectful that I lose my page. And it's probably one of the reasons that I have lost some of my pages because I have said some disrespectful stuff to my kids because I do hold them accountable. And the internet won't let me hold them accountable to the to where I want to hold them. I done lost True. my page for for saying what I had to say to my kids. No, so, I, I don't know. I don't know, Miss Carlisa. Now it's something about that son of yours because the women do not want to let go of him. I mean, what is you, it? What is it about him? It, it I know ain't. he's a butthole, but it got to be something behind closed doors because they be loving that you, man. You know behind closed doors when he ain't turn them cameras off, Jonathan ain't, he a big, big ass baby. Because Jaden and Christian both seem to be obsessed with that man and do not want to let him go. They, they know behind closed doors. Well, when you got a good daddy, a good daddy for your kid, and that's half the battle. Somebody to love your kids as much as you love your kids. You see how these men is with, careless with their kids? So when you got a man that loves his kids as much as you love your kids, that's half the battle. That's enough in itself to make you want to stay. Ain't nobody finna treat their kids that, that good. True. That's half the battle. Being able to leave your kids with the daddy knowing that he finna take care of them the way you can't take care of them. She. True. So I'm just curious. So so it was okay to have Javon around. Um, what's that little bald head girl? That, that no, was, that's why we. That, uh, Justin, no, I'm talking I, about, about Jaden, not you, because I know Jayden. you don't agree. I'm talking, so Jaden was okay with that girl. You know all that stripper activity being around her son, but Krishan can't. I just want to know. What's I don't. The I don't think they was. I don't think the girl was doing the stripper stuff in front of the kids. Though I don't. She very particular about what they hear. Even when I cuss too much, she might, you know, kind of pipe me down. I see, I don't feel like that's going to be the same with Rock. I feel like we're going to be able to say any and everything that we want to say around the kids. So sometimes, you know, even Jaden might have to pipe me down, like the kids, you know what I'm saying? So she not that type of mom. They're just going to let you say whatever you want to say in front of them. So I don't mm -hmm. think she had them kids in front of Jiggy while she was twerking or taking her clothes off or, or any of that. Oh. But I think okay. she was going to definitely try to, you know, live her life and act like the kids didn't know what was going on. But that's when I popped in. Yeah. And me and Callie turned it up and we got that's... put out. And, and I'm glad you did. We don't regret it. That was just wrong. You don't, yeah, you should. Yeah, you will. I, I agree with you on that one because that just wasn't right doing all that. Yeah, no, that wasn't okay. Mm -mm. Yeah. That wasn't okay. And we, we, turned, we, we turned it up and we got on up out of there. And Javon didn't see that no more. Yeah, that's good because that wasn't right. All well, right. that's all I wanted we to say. You. That's no, all I wanted to say. They said, Who is Jiggy? They so some of these rock tars don't even know who Jiggy is. Good, Jiggy. All right, y'all. All right, baby. I appreciate you getting on here. All right. I'm going to show you hang this stuff up, child. I know that part right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, there it is. Honestly, I'm not mad at Blueface because this is real pimping. <laughs> you feel me? The legit way. And this is how he's getting his money to support his family. The ones with Krishan, the ones with Jaden, and whoever. You feel me? So, you know, we shouldn't really be knocking him, you know? I mean, if you understand the pimp game, this is just what it is. <laughs> you feel me? He just happened to breed his bottom, bitch. You feel what I'm saying? That's just the way how life goes. You know what I mean? But you know, Krishan is his top earner. So you know what I mean? He got to put on the show. The show must go on. You know what I mean? It's business, baby. Nothing personal. You know what I mean? But anyway, not going to long this out no longer. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. Bless.